This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff, so you get the videos I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market. We can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the Department of Justice announced that of of an arrest, an arrest of actually four individuals in a pig butchering scheme. And that's just like a, a Chinese term where these four individuals were allegedly involved in stealing about $80 million through romance and friendship, friendship schemes and then laundering the money through, you know, corporate accounts, LLCs, and things like that before the money actually ended up in their personal accounts. Now, here's the thing. Should the DOJ go after these bad actors? Of course they should, because nobody should be robbing older people or romance people or, or whatever. But but the, the problem that I have with this is, do you know how many man hours went into this? They had to investigate all these romance schemes. Then they had to track down the money in all these corporate and LLC bank accounts and then trace the money back to these guys' account. I'm talking about probably thousands of man hours went into this investigation. Thousands of man hours. So the DOJ found resources to go after four guys that stole allegedly $80 million and required thousands of man hours to do it. Yet... These bad actors are stealing trillions of dollars from millions of AMC investors nationally and internationally, and it would require less man hours to bring these people to justice. So why would the DOJ allocate all these thousands of hours of resources to get four guys who are romance scamming people, yet right here, on United States soil, they have bad actors stealing trillions of dollars from AMC retail investors nationally and internationally, yet nobody's arrested, nobody's in handcuffs, and they claiming that they don't have the resources, but they find the resources for the things that they want to investigate. And like I said before, I believe the politicians or the the brass, as we would call them, the brass of putting the pressure on the real law enforcement officers of the DOJ and stopping them from investigating all the fraud and corruption in the AMC play. They are robbing trillions from retail investors, trillions from pension funds, it affects millions of people nationally and internationally, yet the DOJ does not think this warrants an investigation. Yet they find time to put thousands, thousands of man hours and going overseas to find these four individuals and arrest them. Do I think that is a appropriate use of our resources? I don't think so. I think those resources would be better spent going after the bad actors who are stealing trillions of dollars that's affecting millions of people. That's my personal opinion. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the DOJ, instead of chasing romance scammers and spending thousands of man hours, they could put a whole lot less man hours and go after the criminals? Robbing retail investors and pension funds of trillions of dollars. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.